Everybody who came out, I am Phil Street Seeker, your MC for the day and co-organizer of the parade. And we're getting ready to start. Okay, so if everybody who is going to be speaking, kind of gather around and get close. I know we have some people way down there as I'll well. I'll bring them up. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I'd like to acknowledge News One for coming out, okay, and all the various media channels that came out to film the parade and cover it. Okay, this is our third annual parade and it's growing and growing every year okay and we want it to continue to grow volume uh i think that's it well, where's the dr dj <laughs> oh is there any way that oh i know why can we plug this mic into uh the okay great that one second all right testing oh yeah that's a lot better all right you know we have we have our little backup oh okay. let me turn that off Testing, 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 let's see if I need to get a little bit further, testing, testing, one, two, and two, audio check, yeah, it's going in and out, let me see, uh -oh. testing, testing, one, two, one, two, I'm just trying to get there. Issue straight. Okay, everybody gather around. We're getting ready to start with the open ceremony. Testing. I'm just giving some technical difficulties. Okay, testing. One, two. That sounds a lot better. All right. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Okay. I am the MC of the parade and co-coordinator. And before we start, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Firebird Grey Wolf, who is the visionary of the parade. Okay. Firebird is also my godmother, and I remember maybe 25 or 30 years ago, she told me that I would like to do a parade, just like they have the Columbus Day Parade, the Puerto Rican Day Parade, all the various parades that they have, the New Year's Parade, she said, we need to have this for our people, indigenous people. 
and she would agonize, you know, year after year about how she wanted this to happen. And finally, three uh, uh, three years ago, it came to fruition. Okay, Firebird wears many hats. Okay, and there's a long list, so I'm not gonna go through the whole list. But you know, she's a filmmaker. She's a clan mother. Uh, she is a journalist. Okay, she is also a healer, um, historian, and the list goes on and on. I would probably be here about five more minutes if I were to, to, to go through her whole resume. But without further ado, we want to get the uh, parade started with the opening ceremony. So we're going to start with Strong Bear, who is Strong Bear Woman, who is one of the coordinators. Uh, co-coordinators of this parade and she's going to do the land acknowledgement okay so give her a second to pull that up i would also like to thank carla alexander she is oh man i can't even begin yes. to say how thankful and grateful we are uh, for everything that she's done for us. I mean, you know, she's a real trooper, a real soldier. You know, she's been here with us from the beginning. All right, and thank you so much, Carla. For all really that you do. For, for all, all you do. that you do. Woo! All that you do. Okay? And so. Okay, and the cultural director of the Uncle Chalk Nation is Sharon Pickney. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So I think. Okay. Oh, oh we're, we're ready to do that. Oh, okay. All right. Great. Great. I Okay, and V. Perez of the Taino Nation was the official representative. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, V. Huh? Perez, sorry. <laughs> sorry for butchering your name. Oh my goodness, you know. You get a little bit older, you know how things get. <laughs> All right, so, all right, so before Strong Bear Woman does the land acknowledgement, we are going to start with the opening prayer. Everybody, get up! Oh, you want to do it? Oh, so the land acknowledgement first. Okay, that's how you want to do it. Okay, good, good. How's everyone doing? Grand Rising! Grand Rising! This is the combination of a year's worth of work. And we worked very, very, very hard to make this success. And I'm just really grateful. I'm grateful to the ancestors. I'm grateful to the creator of Ball that he has given us such a great day. And all of you great people are here. Um, so as I will read my uh, land um, speech as he Good morning, family. I feel blessed and honored to stand before you on this sacred day. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the great spirit creator and my ancestors for leading me down the path to knowledge itself. I also would to like to acknowledge and honor Chief Carla Alexander for assisting us with the logistics of the parade. I would also like to give a special acknowledgement to clan mother Fiber Gray Wolf who is our visionary and founder of the parade and for giving me the opportunity to present the land acknowledgement speech before you. I would like to acknowledge and honor all the chiefs, clan mothers, and elders of this diverse indigenous nations who are here, some of whom have traveled great distances to celebrate with us. I want to acknowledge and honor all of our allies and friends who are here today to celebrate with us. I want to acknowledge and honor the police, the first responders, and all city workers who daily put their lives on the line to keep us alive and safe. I want to acknowledge and honor the veterans who are with us in spirit and those who are physically here today. 
collectively we appreciate and thank you for your many sacrifices to keep us and our great nation safe. Lastly, I want to acknowledge and honor our ancestors who were the original stewards of this great land known as Turtle Island, located throughout the Caribbean, Central, and South America. I also want to acknowledge and honor and, and show great respect to the Rambapo Muncie Nation and the Lenape Nation of Pennsylvania that is here today because we stand on Lenape Hokey. This is their land. This is our land. And I want to give them a special shout out because if it was not for them, for their sacrifices, we would not be able to stand here today. And I also want to, these nations that live for thousands of years of what is now known as Manhattan Island, the Bronx, Staten Island, lower parts of the Hudson Valley, Western Long Island, portions of Brooklyn, New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania, and many other areas around our country. In the spirit of brotherhood, they welcomed the Dutch and the British when their ships arrived on the Lenape and Hoking, respectively, in 1609. These people were the original stewards of this land who farmed, fished, hunted, cultivated the land, and built towns. They created the first walking trails in this area that Europeans turned into the avenues. In addition, the Lenapes are considered the godfathers, the grandfathers, the first Algonquin-speaking people from whom all others are descended and all the first people the Europeans offered the treaty. Here we are today at Madison Square Park and so many other areas in New York were swampy, hunting grounds for the Lenape. Originally, a Cedar Creek ran from the east to the west, which was later named Madison Creek. And this land first became into use as a public space in 1686. So this land that we're on, this park was created in 1686. After many changes on May 10th, 1847, the 6.2 acre, 2.5 uh, hectare of Madison Square Park, named after President James Madison, opened to the public. In conclusion, we today we owe a great deal of gratitude to our ancestors, especially the various Lenape nations and their allies. We should not forget their history or their story, nor the contributions they made to this country and to New York. In order to move forward, we must remember we stand upon the strong shoulders of those people who came before us. Although our history on this land has been very difficult, however, we can follow their example. They did not lay down, they did not die. They had the will to survive. Their struggles, their sacrifices, and their hard work are the reasons why we are here today, standing proud, heads held high, on one accord, in unity and together, in the spirit of fellowship, letting the world know that we are still here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And I would like to also acknowledge the great Navajo Nation for joining us. The largest, the largest nation in the States. Thank you for coming out and journeying from so far. From so far. Okay.
So hello everybody, my name is Marnelda Begay. I am near the water clan, born for the red cheek people. My maternal grandfather's clan is Water Edge clan, and my paternal grandfathers are one who walks around. My husband's name is Kenneth Jones, and together we have 10 children. Michaela here is our baby. She's six years old. She is Gallup into Travel Little Miss Ceremony for the 2024-2025 year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 